Right, Neil Simpson from our Facebook group. From now on, thou shalt be known as complete and utter bar steward. Didn't off make the postwoman laugh though. Right, hello and welcome to the Geek Lab. And yes, Neil Simpson, you bar steward. Uh, <laughs> calling me Lord Bum Twitcher Stephen on the uh, address to this uh, parcel. Didn't half make the uh, post lady laugh, uh, but a bit of a surprise, you bar steward. But anyway, yes, Neil has sent me this uh, box full of goodies. In here are some projects and some stuff for future reviews, so you're going to get a little idea of what's going to be coming up on the channel as I unbox this. So I'm going to leave it there, open it up, and pull the stuff out, and show you in front, hopefully. Uh, so, let us crack on. There is even something in here that has been... He has made himself using a 3D printer because uh, just before Christmas, Neil, who is making 3D, uh, build your own 3D printer, got, uh, got his well wept, got a little bit impatient and bought himself a, uh, a cheaper 3D printer uh, from Gearbest, I think it was, and he's been playing with that. Uh, that's got its own stories, but. Uh, Yes. Oh, right, I can see just in the top there, and I can see that first item. So, let's pull that out, shall we? Right, oh, we've got blow up bags. Thank you, Mike. Oh, won't pop. Oh well. Right, this is the first item that he was on about. He has used his 3D printer and files from Thingiverse to actually make. Print out a uh, what is it? Looks lightsaber. Wow, it's uh, it's got a nice little weight, nice weight to it. It's not too bad actually. He was worried about the weight, uh, but he thinks it's too heavy. Uh, but I think that's just nice actually. Obviously, you can't tell at home. Uh, but that's uh, really good. It's made, I believe, from about eight parts and glued together. Uh, so my mission now is to paint this up as a real one, which will make a nice video, uh, or two I think. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, I'm painting one of these up. As far as I am um, aware, what we'll do is, let's cover that up a bit. We will uh, sand it down, very gently, and uh, then use an undercoat and different uh, colours to do these different sections, I'll have to mask it off, it's going to be a long process to do it. But I think it's worth doing, so thank God. that's really good actually. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, yeah, uh, one of the guys at work has given me some advice on how to make it look metal. Uh, but I'm going to do loads of research, and if you've got any good uh, tips and advice for me on doing this, because it's not something I'm experienced in, you've all seen what happened to my uh, uh, Gratty Game Boy when I did that with the Mercedes paint. Uh, so, yep, that's really good though. <laughs> that's going to be fun to do. <laughs> yep. Uh, if you go on Thingiverse, you can see the files for this, and you can see what it's like when it's painted. Well, it's not an actual painted one, but it's a, I believe it's a picture from the 3D CAD software, so that's good. That's really good, lad. I like that now. That's really good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so there's a nice project for me to do. Uh, right, next, let's get this thing outside here. We've got uh, the things I'm expecting and a few. Oh dear. Oh, this. Ah, I completely forgot. No, what is this? Blue York. I'm just looking. Uh, uh, looking here. Right, he has included this. Ta da! Which is the ultimate cheat system for... Oh yes, it is the PlayStation one. It's the ultimate cheat uh, system for PlayStation. This is a relatively, well, incredibly rare uh, system. It's the professional version. It goes onto the PlayStation and allows you to hack the games. It's got loads of codes included and stuff. Uh, 
this will make a great video. Uh, yeah. Wow. The thing with these is they're they are rare because they're aimed more at the developers market because uh sorry the review market people who actually reviewed the games because these cost almost as much apparently as the consoles themselves so there we go explore is the number one best-selling cheat cartridge in the uk using the most advanced coding system available explorer fx pro now makes you stronger faster greater than ever before new cine fx features get the most from your complete game collection choose one of the 2000 plus cheats already preloaded or find your own unique codes for those favorite games explore FX Pro is also compatible with other cheat codes and new cheat codes are available through your favourite magazines, exclusive Explorer codes, hotline or the dedicated Explorer website. I wonder if that website's still going. If not, there's probably some on the internet somewhere. Uh, but it is incredibly rare. Uh, let's have a quick look at it, shall we, while we here? No, it's taped up. No, not on that side. Let's have a quick look. You do need the ow. Ugh. You do need the right uh, PlayStation version. It's got to have this adapter. There you go. <laughs> so that's going to make a good video, I do believe. Uh, although no mind, look, I don't have the right PlayStation. I'll have to go looking for one. Uh, I will put an annotation. I'll have a quick look after and put an annotation to find out uh, as to. Whether I do or whether I've got to track one down. Oh, come here, get in there, you. Okay, so there we go. Right. You can see something sitting there. We have Road Rash. Oh God. Yes, I've uh, mentioned this before. Road Rash 3D. He sent me Road Rash 3D for the PlayStation. I guess this is going to get a review, view there, review video. I've never played it. I've heard of it. Seen a few videos of it. A while ago, but I've never played it, so Road Rush 3D. Ha 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 ha. Thank you very much, Neil. That will get played and reviewed. And there's a NES cartridge. Duck Hunt! Yay! Ha 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 ha. He said he got a few copies of Duck Hunt. The uh, way this came about, we were looking at uh, Zappers for the NES when we were at replay, uh, but they're a bit overpriced. Uh, so he says he'd, look, he'd have a look out for one, but uh, he didn't say he was going to send me a duck hunt in the meantime. <laughs> so there we go, Super Mario Brothers and duck hunt. <laughs> Cheers, Neil. Right, what we got here? <laughs> ah, <laughs> crafty. Yes! <laughs> Some, uh, I forgot what you call it now, masking tape, yes. Yeah, uh, that, that may seem random, but masking tape is used on the 3D printers to cover the bed to make it easy uh, to remove stuff off the bed. So that's what that's for, and he found some cheap. So he did mention something about it, but I wasn't expecting to send any. So I'm just leaving this thing in here. This thing here for last. Some of you may recognise that already. Some of you may not. Hopefully you don't. Right, something has come out here. What's this? Uh, it is a video card. Uh, product of Mexico. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to have to ask him what this is. Oh, it's a 3DFX card. Uh, I wonder what this one's for. What he sent it for. Uh, it could be for the Amstrad. I do not know. I'm going to have to ask him on that one. Uh, do no, can't remember what he said this one was for, but uh, it's 3DFX. I don't know which model. <sighs> no, why don't they ever put the model number on these? Well, perhaps they do, and I'm just too stupid. 3DFX Interactive, tested in Germany for home or office use. So, thank you very much. Uh, I'll ask him, and I'll probably leave an annotation on the video as to oh, what that's for. Uh, probably something I've mentioned in the past, but completely forgotten. <laughs> Down here we have, aha, Midway presents Arcade's Greatest Hits, Paperboy, Gauntlet, Road Blasters, Crystal Castles, uh, Mobile Madness, Millipede, over Midway, on the old PlayStation, ah, Road Blasters, I think, 
can't remember, I think we did a video on a Road Blasters uh, arcade machine at Replay, so it's still yet to put up. Millipede's one of my favourites. Never played Crystal Castle. It's alright, I've just had lunch and trying not to bloody belch. Uh, Paperboy, yep, yeah, that's uh, Marble Madness. Gauntlet, uh, I have played Gauntlet, but actually I've never had it uh, on a system, big system. I've only got it on the, the Game Boy, so there we go. Alright, so uh, thank you very much again. It feels heavy, uh, what's going on? There we go. Got a big thick book, that's why. Big thick heavy instruction manual. Good deal. Right, and the last one, which uh, is going to make a very interesting review also. Padded away in photo padding here. Some of you may recognise it. Hopefully not. I'll just take the box over here and release the beast. This is the one. I'll just untie it. The only. The legendary. Just undoing the cable. Hold with me. The awesomeness that is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Come on, focus. Let me down, let me down, camera. Thank you. This is, of course, the force, the original force. Uh, there, there, there. I'm gonna get the official name of it. Hang on. Unless I'm Colonel. The Sidewinder Forced Feedback Pro. I forgot about that. I forgot the name. There it is. That's the original Force Feedback from uh, Stick Joystick from Microsoft. And uh, if you have a look on the internet, there are a few videos of later versions of this doing stuff. Uh, but this one is the original. Apparently, this has a lot of. Uh, about, I don't know if it does anything when it's not plugged in. Uh, but we'll get around to that in the video because it's provided a power supply. I've got to find the drivers and stuff for this. Apparently, this works through a video card, perhaps. Hang on. Do -do 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 -do. Maybe. No. 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 Uh, well, works through this port, which is serial, I believe. Perhaps. Uh, being numpty. I'll look up the instructions anyway before we do a review on it. So that is excellent. Thank you very much, Neil. Uh, the past capacitors on that bugger. Christ. Yeah, apparently these things uh, do provide quite a lot of force. Uh, drawing, what was it? Three amps, I think. So look on the power supply here. Uh, output. Yep, two amps. It uses so yeah it's got a bit of a kick to it so there you go that's uh, that's all that stuff let's uh, pull some of this stuff back into shot that look hunt road rush and one of the Ultimate rare things for the PlayStation, the Explore, and my own trusty knife. And of course, <laughs> the lightsaber, handmade, and will be hand painted. Uh, I have had an offer to paint that up actually by a uh, gentleman, but I think because <laughs> it's a skill I need to learn, especially uh, as the 3D printer is getting closer to completion. So, there you go, and it just remains for me to say thank you very much to Neil, and uh, if you've not seen these videos before and want to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, and you'll get to see these things reviewed and these projects done over the comments. So, there we go. Uh, thank you very much, Neil, that's uh, really appreciated. Uh, we should have a lot of fun with these. So, thank you very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>